डियर व्यूअर्स नमस्कार प्रेजेंटिंग यू एंसर्स फॉर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट फॉर मैनेजर्स असाइनमेंट ऑफ स्वयं और एन पी टी ई एल कोर्स बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग आई वुड लाइक टू मैंसन दैट आई हैव टेकन स्क्रीन शॉट्स ऑफ द स्लाइड्स प्रेजेंटेड बाई प्रोफेसर एम के बरुआ फॉर दिस वीक दिस इज वीक सिक्स असाइनमेंट सिक्स आई हैव टेकन ए स्नैप शॉट्स ऑफ द प्रजेंटेशन फॉर ऑथेंटिक explanation of these questions you may remember this due date you need to submit these answers on or before this due dates so question number 1 the correct answer is decision fox let's go to the slide here in the uh, first paragraph you may note that the decision points also known as decision forks there is also chance points and that's can chance folks so for this question decision points the correct answer is decision folks question number 2 choice of product mix is guided by the correct answer is market requirement let's go to the slide presented by professor mk barua here in the slide title product mix you may notice in the first line it said the choice of product mix is guided by the market requirements and hence this is the correct answers question number 3 plant capacity refers to the correct answer is number of units manufactured during a time span let's go to the slide here in uh, slide titles plant capacity you may notice in the first line itself plant capacity also referred to as production capacity refers to the volume or number of units that can be manufactured during a given period and hence this is the correct answers for question number 3 question number 4 choose the correct relationship between cost and capacity the correct answer is c equals Uh, this expression let's go to the slide here you may note uh, this expression where c2 stands for derived cost for q2 units and c1 is the known cost for q1 units of capacity and alpha is a factor reflecting capacity cost relationship that is alpha is a factor reflecting capacity cost relationship so this is the correct answers question number 5 the correct answer is this one uh, let's go to the pre, uh, this uh, answer for this question is based on previous equation that is relationship between cost and capacity here for the sake of memory uh, uh, we can write it like c2 divided c1 equals q2 divided q1 raised to the power alpha i have written uh, or rearrange this uh, equation for the sake of memory here you can see that c2 and q2 and c1 c2 at the bottom, bottom or denominator you can also uh, write this expression as this c1 divided c2 equals q1 divided Q2 uh, raised power alpha. Uh, these expressions are same. Actually, uh, uh, this is uh, different. Will bring a same result, and uh, solving this equation will also bring the same result. We can further uh, simplify it like Q1 divided Q2 raised alpha. Raised alpha, or you you may also write it in reverse order as well. So uh, point here to note that cost one equals co uh, quantity one. Similarly, cost two equals quantity two. So let's go to question number five. Here we are writing the previous expression that is C two equals C one Q two divided Q one. Raised power alpha. Here from the question, 
वी हैव सी वन इज टू लैक्स डेट इज टू फाइव जीरो एंड क्यू वन इज सर क्यू टू इज थ्री थाउजेंड यूनिट्स एंड क्यू वन इज थाउजेंड यूनिट्स दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड थाउजेंड एंड अल्फा इक्वल्स टू पॉइंट सिक्स सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सो वी कैन कट इट सो द सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन विल बी टू लाख ब्रैकेट थ्री रेज टू बी पावर जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज कैलकुलेटर Here I have opened the calculator. Uh, this is in a standard mode. Uh, I will have to select the scientific mode, and here base is three. So I have written three, and I am going to use this expression x raised to power y. Here value need to be 0.6. So I have given 0.6. This is coming 1.93 something, and this has to be multiplied by two lakhs. That is two, one, two, three, four, five, two, five zero. That is two lakhs. This equals this this value is coming three eight six six three six point four. That is three eight six six three six point four, which is uh, roughly equal to. this value and hence this is the correct answer question number 6 sanctuary is identified or defined by government and hence the guidelines also prepared by the government for protecting such sanctuary and hence the correct answer is government policies who creates a project team the correct answer is project manager it is the project manager who controls the resources resources includes human resource and project team is made up of human resources and hence this is the correct answers this is in uh, uh, related to uh, some uh, operation is not related to project similarly factory manager is not related to project so this is not the correct answer this is also not the correct answer similarly project manager is not related to project a company takes up a project upgrade of here purchase manager may be in a project but he may be subordinate to project manager so the right answer is uh, project manager uh, all its machines from conventional machine to high tech machines uh, for this the correct answer is modernization i have taken uh, snapshots of one of the slides and type of project based on risk is given here that is green field brown field divestment and modernization and modernization re uh, refers to replacement of old equipments and systems with new one or high tech one and hence this is the correct answers for question number 8 question number 9 selection of location or site is influenced by as of uh, getting raw materials labor and infrastructure government regulation uh, that is the correct answer is all of the above Uh, let's go to the slides so here you can see that the proximity of raw materials availability of infrastructure labor situations and government policy so question number 9 all of the above is the correct answer question number 10 uh, project abandonment analysis for answering this question let's consider uh, uh, another question why that is upon halting of their project and that means 
why project is being halted or why the project is being continued for getting uh, this why answer we will have to do abandonment analysis abandonment analysis only will give uh, uh, sufficient reason to halt a project similarly uh, abandonment analysis only will give sufficient reason for continuation of the project and hence the correct answer is both of this that is this one here you may note uh, this line you may submit any number of times this assignment before due date the final submission will be considered for gradings thanks for watching